the sole survivor of Vault 111. This is an enormous dynamic world where you can create any kind of character you want, go wherever you want, and do whatever you want. Player freedom is our number one goal. This is my character, Phil. Um, here on your Pip-Boy, you can see all of my appropriate stats, uh, my items and such, and we really want to make this come to life. So much so, we've even built a second screen experience that mimics the Pip-Boy on your smartphone. It works amazing. This is running on a next-generation version of our creation engine. It features full physical-based rendering, as well as dynamic volumetric lighting. And then you return home to find the family robot still waiting. As I live and breathe, oh, it's, it's really you. Codsworth? You're, you're still here. So other people could still be alive too. It's worse than I thought. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Perhaps I can whip you up a snack? <laughs> you must be famished. What? Food? Y yeah, sure. I I need a minute to think. Then I'll be right back. <laughs> After returning to your neighborhood, you then start exploring this world. There are many people you can meet, as well as faithful companions. Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? You want to come with me, pal? <laughs> okay, then. Let's stick together. It does feature first-person combat, as well as our VAT system. Hey! You! You see that laser musket on the ground? Grab it and head inside. I've got a group trapped in here. Please. This laser musket is one of our signature weapons in the game. You crank it and then let it loose. Man, I don't know who you are, but your time is impeccable. Preston Garvey. As you can see, we're in a bit of a mess here. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. I'll help if I can. Well, we do have one idea. 